this is a review of Devil Forge furnace. If you like the video and if you find it helpful, please uh, subscribe to my channel and press the like button. So this is going to be a short video of my impression. I bought it new for about $700 and I used it for three times each time, maybe about three to four hours each. So this is the my impression of how the Devil Forge performed. Overall, I think it's a very good forge. Uh, it works good. Uh, there are some things that I don't like which are minimal, otherwise it's very good. So as you can see, it has some discoloration due to the melting of the metals, but that's expected. And this is the crucible right here. So I used it, like I said, three times. So after three times, that's how it looks like. It looks like a uh, crackles uh, on the outside and inside. You know, it looks like it's used, but I don't see any problems with it. Um, other than it's just, you know, crack a look to it, but which is expected. So let's go look inside. As you can see, the lid doesn't completely cover the furnace. It's kind of like twisted a little bit. So that's one thing I, I wish it didn't have. Then another part is, is the hinge. There is a gap between the hinge and the furnace. So I think that that's due to the weight of the, the cover for the furnace. So if you open the lid and if you don't put it down softly, then you're gonna most likely get this issue. So to prevent that, open and close lid gently that would be my advice and then it looks like there's some cracks some minor cracks let's see there is a crack right here there is a crack on the lid from the inside which is from the instruction they gave that's pretty normal and then there's some metal that kind of spilled over into the furnace so that's what you see over there look like ash there there's another crack right here long as long as there's not a gap like a huge gap these minor hairpin cracks they said manufacturer said that's normal so I take their word for it I'm no expert on furnace forge and then there's a little gap, you know, maybe crack or a seam looks like. So that's my impression of the furnace. Like I said, it costs around $700. It, it has a two inch insulation. But what one inch is the, that uh, some kind of fiber insulation and then the other one is refractory cement so with a total of two inches so I think it's overall is good I thought it was a little bit expensive for $700 but considering the quality I, I think I think it's worth it you can get cheaper ones for a couple hundred dollars you know, and then they have that insulation foam that is exposed and that might be hazardous to your health. So that's one of the reasons that I didn't want to get those because of that. I, I wanted that I was safe enough, but also small and uh, just uh, melting metal for hobby, I suppose. Nothing serious. So I hope you like it, if you like the video please subscribe 
and uh, I hope you learned something and thanks for watching my video thank you bye bye one thing that I forgot to mention in the original video was that uh, on the back side of the forge there is a huge divot and that's due to the lid hitting the the back side and this happens when you open and then it hits right there the the lid hits it and then you get that so it, it's not because you drop the lid it's just that you didn't gently put the lid down so to help your uh, forge last longer do it gently so it, so that uh, the hinges don't become weak and maybe hinges might come off broken off so hope that helps whenever you're using your forge use it gently and hope it lasts longer hope it helps thanks for watching and uh, if you like the video, please subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.